So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I will teach you how to create new style of simulation animation with using Blender 3.1. And guys, second one, I use Cycle Render. So firstly guys click on here general and select your all assets and press delete key yeah and now guys i go to add and use torus this one yeah right okay so guys now i increase size guys scale size i like three three and three and next one guys i use subdivision surface this one and guys subdivision viewport level i like two and render like five yeah and right click guys shader smooth that's my simple object so next one guys i create random rotation animation so and frame i like 500 like this and now guys go to here and see guys that's my rotation so all rotation check on zero frame and now i go to last frame 500 frame and all rotation i like 720 and 720 last one 720 yeah and select all keyframes so guys go to back and play yeah and now guys i change line now so right click on keyframe and guys go to here use vector this one and last one type use this one vector yeah so go to back and play yeah really good simple right okay so guys see that's my simple rotation animation and now guys i apply here object so go to here particle and click on here that's my particle add yeah and use here see that's good okay so guys go to advanced setting and change here length guys here length half like two is good for me and guys segments increase like 15 is good okay so guys go to source and emit from i use volumetric this one and go to here dynamic so check here dynamic and go to back and play yes see guys that's my beautiful here dynamic animation so stop this animation and go to down and now guys i go to here render and guys see that's my path so b spline check and step i like double six so enter yes and viewport display this one yeah is good so go to children and go to this one i use interpolate it and guys go to back and play yeah see guys that's my really smooth animation it's really smooth so guys stop and i increase more here and display amount i like 30 is good for me yeah good and go to back and play yes it's really good guys just take little bit time because that's my heavy effect so stop yeah okay so now guys go to up and guys i increase quality so go to here dynamic and guys quality step i like six and collision guys quality i like six is good for me and guys use structure vector mass i like 0.1 yes and random i like 0.1 is good okay so guys again go to back and play yeah good okay so guys i increase more dumping dumping is good so volume good and cache don't use cache and normal guys rotation good physical yeah all is good so and next one guys go to here children and club guys little bit increase club little bit like this yeah yeah and go to roughness 
guys that's important so end point i like 0.1 yes and guys random i like same 0.1 is good yeah so go to back and play yeah much better see guys that's my final simulation that's my final one and now i go to king and guys king type i use this one radial yeah much better okay so guys my final dynamic animation is finished now i apply material so guys go to here shader shading that's my material and click on here new material yes and firstly guys press shift a and use color ramp and connect with base color this one and next one guys i use must the this one must give texture and connect with effect yes and guys next one i use wave effect wave so wave texture connect with vector and guys select this wave texture so connect with mapping so press control t yes and this texture coordinate connect with uv yeah right okay so guys now i change color so guys go to on here guys this time first checker box and position guys first checker box position i like 0.114 enter and color change guys color code is this one first one 0.94 yes and second one i use 0.91 and third one i use 0.9 yes right see guys that's my like pink color and second one this one guys position i change 0.28 and color guys change color code is h i like 0.08 yeah and s i like 0.6 yes see guys that's my simple and now effect guys i change scale size this one guys scale size decrease decrease like this more i like minus 0.1 this one scale size i like minus 0.1 yeah and guys detail increase little bit like 9 is good yes and guys see that's my texture wave so use y axis and guys go to coordinate this one mapping so guys now i go to mapping and y axis like 50 and 90 yeah good see guys that's my beautiful texture and guys go to here texture wave scale size little bit increase like this yeah and yeah all is good right see guys that's my beautiful material and guys roughness i like 0.35 yeah good so go to layout and guys click on here that's my beautiful material it's good okay so guys my material is finished now next one i use light simple area light so go to light and use area light and guys go to on here and rotate this light say minus 90 degree and increase size guys size i like 5 and power i like 200 and guys select your light this one go to on left side that's my left side so rotate same and guys rotation minus 180 degree yes and little bit closer yeah and now guys i take one more light that's my front light and duplicate so front one so 90 yes and position little bit change made yes good right see guys that's my simple lighting and now guys i apply hdri image so go to here environment texture and this one 
and take as dri see guys that's my environment texture guys i give you this texture link in description so open and yeah good okay so guys i use backdrop so select scale size so select this plane and press s letter scale size increase yeah and little bit down yeah good okay so next one i go to edit mode and use select this one that's my edge and select this one edge and guys press e and g and go to up like this yes good and more little bit yeah good okay so guys select this mid one edge and apply bevel effect so bevel increase and segments increase yeah good right see guys that's my beautiful background and increase size stretch yes and last one guys i apply simple material so create new material this one and color guys i use blue color so h 0.6 one and one yeah good so guys now i take camera so guys select your backdrop and little bit closer yeah and take camera so camera go to on back yeah see guys that's my camera and now guys go to view and see guys that's my camera option so press zero yes and set your camera angle see guys that's my simple camera angle setting yeah and camera uncheck see guys that's my simple camera view yes so go to closer and go to on here and go to zero frame and play yes see guys that's my final one that's my final effect okay so guys last one i apply one more effect because that's not correct see that's not correct effect so go to back and go to torus go to here this one and last one guys most important part use collision effect this one yes that's it so go to back and press zero and press animation okay guys it take little bit time for also rendering and rendering preview yeah see guys that's my final effect right it's really beautiful effect so go to render setting so stop this animation and guys render engine i use cycle and guys max amp i use that's my viewport 64 and guys render for rendering i like 12a guys your system configuration is better you can increase this one sam otherwise you can take 128 yeah and dinos check yes and guys save your project most important part like take any name yes and guys go to render and image render check yeah see guys that's my beautiful hair dynamic animation and that's my beautiful render guys is take little bit time for rendering preview guys my graphic card is gtx 1650 it's low version graphic card so it's take time for rendering so guys that's it go to back close and play yes my final effect hair dynamic okay so guys final render setting so i go to on here and guys see that's my output so click on here create new folder and new render and take any file name yes and guys format i use png that's it so guys go to render and render animation check yes okay so guys that's it that's my final hair dynamic animation is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe to my channel thank you